Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Flipsy, and today I'll be showing you the process of one of my recent uh, Luna pictures. Um, over here, I was actually per working on perspective, and I was gonna put uh, Luna in her, what I think would be her room, and I decided to scrap that idea because one, obviously I don't, I am unsure what her room would actually look like, and I didn't want to put all that, um, you know, effort in for a room that could or couldn't be possibly real. And two, I was babysitting my nephew during these days, and um, I was only sketching slash outlining whenever it was his uh, nap time. So I couldn't put in as much detail as I wanted to. So I just decided to just keep the human Luna and the happy chief and Luna. Um, I was, um, uh, I was actually, didn't, I didn't expect, like, the episode to be about Luna. A lot of people thought it was gonna be, like, some episode that would be about, uh, Millie and Moxie. And, uh, I was kind of excited about that, cause, you know, I like, they're such a cute couple and all that. But, uh, turns out I had to be for an ex that I didn't suspect Blitz to be with. I didn't think anyone else actually dating with Blitz. I didn't I didn't mean that like in a mean way. I just thought like maybe his first, you know, date not date, but like uh I don't know, someone he could possibly like maybe in the future maybe or at the moment was like maybe Stullis. But obviously, you know, the big regret or whatever, or maybe he was drunk during that, um, <clears throat> their, uh, association. Um, yeah, I didn't think he actually dated, uh, another person, let, go let alone a fucking, uh, pop star. But, uh, I'm seeing her on, <laughs> on Instagram. Like, oh, he has a type. Tall, rich people. Uh, which, uh, now that I realize, I was like, ah, oh, you know what, yeah. And they're both um, hyperactive, sick. Not hyperactive, I think. Well, like, like sex, really. Like, there's the succubus um, for Rasika, and then there's Stalus, which only seems to be very horny for butts and not so much his own wife. Um, anyway. So, um, I was having a little bit of difficulty in how I don't want to draw the human Luna. I mean, I wanted to after I saw her design. She was just so beautiful and nice and I like you know I like like drawing goth girls goth emo girls and um and I also want to associate it to you know put in a happy chief inversion of Luna and not so much the normal Luna I figured oh maybe they can cuddle or something but, and I did a couple sketches in my uh traditional sketchbook because um I thought that would probably be a best way to actually get the concept out instead of just sketching it randomly in my um, drawing tablet and you know maybe there could be an idea where I can go back visit one of those ideas and redraw them oh no redraw them like actually draw them out anyway so I did that but I didn't draw them like cuddling, cuddling, cuddling per se I drew Luna holding um, Happy Chief and Luna but more like um, in kind of like a I'm there for you kind of thing not so much like oh I want to cuddle you because I feel sad because I think Luna doesn't show that much emotion except for, for uh, Vortex which I actually do want to try drawing him he's uh he looks fun to draw especially uh, his human form honestly thought he would have like long fluffy hair but uh they went with the whole shaved head which I don't hate it's, uh, it just might be hard for me to, to draw because I'm not that good with, uh, bald hats. Even with undercuts, I struggle. Okay, um, I think one of my favorite parts of this episode was when they broke the fourth wall and, uh, what's it called? They, like, called out the people who, like, say, you know, the, the kind of people who go after, uh, emails goths and me <laughs> I felt so called out along with some of my friends <laughs> uh, I almost died uh, okay oh 
I wanted to like go back to the whole cuddling thing. I did draw Happy Chief and Luna with Luna, with Luna, the human one, cuddling the Happy Chief one, but I felt like something else should be in there. And while I was uh, thinking, I was actually laying on top of my uh, Fat Nuggets, and I fit, and I thought, oh, maybe they got a Fat Nuggets plushie too, and they're cuddling with it. So I gave it to the Happy Chief one. Because when, if you got the actual plushie, it's small, but it has good, but it's really good quality. And since a Happy Chief friend character is very small, I figured yeah, it might be perfect for um, the Happy Chief and Luna. I'm sorry, I keep repeating back and forth with this whole Luna thing. And, uh, yeah, that's basically what I did. With the picture, now looking at it, I felt, I kind of felt like maybe I should have drawn like a background, like in her room, but again, I don't want to. I didn't have enough time because I had nephews, and I didn't want to draw something that could possibly not even be as close as accurate when it comes to a room. Because I don't know if Luna actually has like, you know, a very big room, a small room, is her place like very actual gothic or would there be a little bit of a twist where it's like all pastels and cute light kind of thing? Could it be a punk rock? You, you, you never know. Um, oops, I heard that was my guinea pigs. But I'm, hope, I'm hoping later on in the series that we do go more into Luna and more about her past and how she met Blitz. She's actually one of my favorite characters, uh, along with Stalus and Blitz himself. Um, I was actually surprised that they would actually include a human Luna because I have seen um concepts of Luna being human and some were almost uh, close to this and some were very off but um, I didn't expect them to actually do this let alone on the third episode uh, what else I'm hoping to see more Hell of a Boss real soon maybe I uh, see hmm. I don't know cuz I like all the episodes despite what they're about. You know what, maybe I might actually want to see more of the of um, Stolas, like how he actually met Blitz. Because uh, I saw in one of the trailers we saw Stolas being all sad and alone. Whoop, there's my neighbor. Where was I? Oh yeah, in the trailer we saw Stolas being sad and alone in his kitchen. I mean, he actually had a gray, gray hair or feather? Like there's a gray spot on him. And I feel like I don't know if this works. I don't know. I'm going to sound stupid. Like, maybe it was Stolas before he met Blitz. And when we see him being, like, oh, in shock and surprise, maybe he probably saw Blitz at some sort of um, event that Stolas happened to be in. And he probably wanted to go confront him and then probably hung out with him. And then eventually started catching feelings and actually wants to be with Blitz. And, you know, did that whole thing. But, you know... It's just theory. The game thing. No, I'm kidding. I don't. I'm not going that. I'm not going that road. I'm not gonna go that road. But um, that's what I feel like could be a possibility. But if not, then okay. It could be something else. It could be what happened. What's gonna happen between him and Stella? Because obviously Stella is probably so pissed at him for, you know, cheating on her. And you know, what makes it worse is that he cheated on her with Blitz, which I guess they look down on Blitz because they're one of the whole lower ranking demons. I don't know. I don't know this whole thing. But, um, yeah. And I want to see... What else is there? What else do I want to see? Hmm. Well, I think that's the only thing I kind of want to focus on. Or want to see more of. Besides, you know, Blitz and Luna's relationship. Because, you know, in the episode, he almost did actually call her, call her dad. And yeah, so it looks like we're wrapping up to the end. Uh, I want to thank you all for staying around and listening to me. Um, if you want to support me, me and my art thing, I have a Patreon. But if you don't want to actually, you know, do that, you can just uh, like and you know just watch it, or you know, like you can do really whatever you want. 
I'm just doing this for fun and anyone who enjoys this stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna be back with a couple new videos because I had some pre-made. I just gotta edit them all. But um, yeah. Alright, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye! Should've known.